What's up guys welcome back to HMHT so today Apple released iOS 14.5 beta 1 part 2 so this is the Apple developer website that you are seeing and as you can see a new release that was released today February the 4th and it's iOS 14.5 beta 1 part 2 and also ipad os 14.5 beta 1 these were out like two days ago and apple really released them with the revised build number and also with some changes within the os so for me it actually came in as a small file you can see the update size date was around 124.9 megabytes and this is because i was already on ios 14.5 beta 1 so if you were already on the 14.5 beta 1 update and you see this second update it will actually come in for you as a small file like that however if you're on ios 14.4 and are coming to this update it's going to be quite significant around 4.5 gigs or four and a half gigs and then just to show you the software changes that came with this update if we go to settings go to general go to the about you can see the new build number that we have we actually used to have a j here and now we have a k so it sort of seems like we took a step back or in the negative direction but it just goes to show you that this is a beta and should be taken as such and if you go to see the modern framework version that came with this update 4.03.03 .03 .03, and on the previous version it was exactly that so no changes there and then just to see how much system is taken up as storage so if we go to the iphone storage here and then go all the way down it just takes a moment to load and as you can see right here system is taken up 6.74 gig which is good it's actually less than what ios 14.5 beta 1 the initial one was taking so it's good and now let's talk about the new features and changes that came with this update so first thing first apple released this update because of some bugs that needed to be addressed and also because of some app stability and compatibility issues there were issues with microsoft apps so like if you have microsoft word initially on ios 14.5 beta 1 you couldn't open it it will just crash and open up for most users and for most devices but as you can see here it's opening and most microsoft apps or services are working with this update so even outlook and teams will work with this update and that is a good thing and also another reason why perhaps this update was released so quick has to do with the inability for you to downgrade to ios 14.4 if you are on the first beta of ios 14.5 so when you had updated to the first beta or 14.4 beta 1 part a you actually couldn't downgrade to ios 14.4 which was a big issue that means that if your phone was stuck in a boot loop or you for some reason wanted to downgrade you couldn't do that but with this update it allows you to download the ipsw file and also be able to downgrade your phone to ios 14.4 now with ios 14.5 we actually have youtube picture in picture back so if we open safari and then go to youtube i believe i have it open here and then play any video this time around i'm illustrating using a music video just to show you that the music video actually works so if we enter full screen mode like this and then swipe up or go to the home page you can see that you know it's now playing as picture in picture and before there were issues whereby youtube picture in picture wouldn't work or sometimes it wouldn't work for music videos but as you can see here this video from drake is working and for all the videos that i've actually tested on ios 14.5 are working with youtube picture in picture using safari now if you want youtube picture in picture using the youtube app just like i am doing right here i've already made some videos that can help you do that so it's very easy and i'll leave the videos in the description of this video that can basically show you how you can do youtube picture in picture like this this is the actual youtube app that i'm using and as you can see i have youtube picture in picture so check the link in the description of this video if you want to use videos or use youtube picture in picture just like this it's a good thing and so it's good that now with ios 14.5 we have youtube picture in picture now within the apple maps app they've actually made some upgrades so if you start navigation like i did here as you can see you have this little pop-up that comes up that allows you to sort of see more options like eta 
all end your navigations and the ui has basically been upgraded with this ios 14.5 which is a good thing it's good to see this and this is something that you can always check out if you are on the first beta or beta 1 revised version and it's a good thing the weather widget and weather app have been revised too when it comes to this update and they are basically adding hourly precipitation when it comes to the weather for different regions so in the uk i believe you now have hourly weather precipitation so you can see how your weather is going to be when it comes to like hourly precipitation and that is a good thing and i'm sure in future they are actually going to be adding more regions and areas to this new feature now again something that has to do with the apple maps they've updated more areas and locations that have look around so i know in my area they actually updated some streets that didn't have look around so have a look want to update in the maps app you might be able to see areas that didn't have look around before with look around now with this update and it's a good thing and i'm sure with time they will be able to add it to even more regions and more countries now also with ios 14.5 within the app watch they actually updated some watch faces so if you have the explore and the hermes watch faces they have been tweaked and there's richer colors and more variations that you can sort of tweak when it comes to those two watch faces and it's a good thing to see if you have the apple watch and you pair it with your iphone now basically this seems to be most of the changes that are here in addition to ios 14.5 beta 1 part a which i already covered so these are most of the changes that are around and now let's talk about some of the bugs and issues that are still here so the first one has to do with airdrop and from time to time actually airdrop is actually not working so it could be airdrop to another iphone or airdrop to the mac which i have right there airdrop is very slow sometimes a file loads and gets stuck halfway and it never completes and this is irregardless of whether it's a large file or a small file and also something that i have to mention has to do with magsafe charger so if you have the apple magsafe charger and you have the iphone that has the new animation and you put it on the mat like this it actually won't show the animation for magsafe it's just showing this old ios 14 0.4 animation so mine is showing this because well this is not a new iphone 12 but hey and this is also not a magsafe charger but if you do have those devices and the magsafe charger there's a bug where it's not showing the new animation and basically this seems to be most of the bugs that most people are reporting when it comes to this ios 14.5 beta 1 part 2 or beta 1 revised that has the new build number with the k if i find any other new features or new bugs i'll be able to let you know on twitter and now let's look at performance how this update is actually performing so i did run geekbench scope and let's see with cpu so before on 14.5 beta 1 part 1 i actually did my scores and as you can see before on single core i had 917 and on multi core i had 2101 now after updating to this new ios 14.5 beta 1 part 2 let's see on single core i had 918 and for multi core i had 2249 so as you can see very similar results the only difference is that this update is slightly higher when it comes to multi core so and when it comes to gpu i also ran geekbench just to see how this update is performing and i got a score of 3796 and that is almost exactly the same as what i had on 14.5 beta 1 the initial update so not much of a change when it comes to performance but this update does come with stability and security improvements and if we now go to see how the battery is performing so you go to settings and then you go to your battery if we go to the maximum health here you can see that my maximum health is actually on 81 i believe it used to be on 85 so it actually dropped quite significantly with this ios 14.5 beta 1 part 2 so that's something to keep an eye on it could be my battery degrading because this is an old iphone it's actually an iphone x so it could be the correct representation of this 
or it could be a bug within the OS. We'll get to know once this update comes out fully. And when it comes to my screen on time, let's go to the last 10 days. You can sort of see the screen on time that I've heard today. I actually had about seven hours. And yesterday I actually had about 12 hours using about 180% of charge. So battery on this device isn't the greatest. And also with this update isn't the greatest. You can sort of see the trend here. And if you go to the last 24 hours, you can see the way it sort of drops. It's not so constant, but the screen on time that I'm getting isn't good with this update and also my battery isn't the, in the greatest how and basically this that's how this update came in for me let me know whether you are going to be upgrading to this ios 14.5 beta 1 in the description below it's still a beta still unstable and yeah just be cautious around this update now that's about it for me if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace